Okay, Roger, once again, Mud Fossil University. We're going to be talking about Atlantis and some floods and all kinds of things, and then it'll eventually lead us to the KT boundary. Now, this is Atlantis according to Herodotus and Solon and Plato and history. Now, what happened was Atlantis collapsed in here. If you read uh, Plato's Tim Timonius, there, it, it tells all about this. And there was a strait up here that, that split and it dropped and all of this ran out and I am talking about tons and tons so, as a matter of fact Plato said they will never speak of mud running again because there was so much that ran out and it created I believe the Cape Verde Islands so here's where it ran off this is what I'm saying I'm pretty sure now out there and you see some mud and all ran out of here and at one time this was ocean because a uh, Sahara they say it was ocean because they found all kinds of skulls of uh, whales and all kinds of things well I also know there's other things here in this desert and one of them is a dragon and here it is right here and the reason I say it's a dragon is because let's start at his tail which is way out here and let's go in and look at this and I'm going to say that that is a dragon scaled tail and this right here is extreme amounts of effluence running off his tail and they only run down to this far away that is the amount of degradation and decomposition that's happened since this dragon died in this desert uh, now so let's go back and you say well this can't be a, a dragon well let's see maybe it isn't let's, I could be wrong all right, so let's go back up his tail which I'm saying his tail and if you keep going in here there's more dragon skills here's his legs both his legs, all this runoff is from his dying, decaying, decomposing ferrous oxide running out of his body. Up here is his guts. This is his back and his wings or whatever they are up in here. Now let's just go in here to his neck. So if we just go right into his neck, let's just start there because otherwise we're here all day. Now we go in here and oh, they see all these dragon scales, 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 scales all the way up. Now we're in his neck and we're running up his neck and 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 his neck and, his neck. and we can and they're all the same scales I'm not making this up you know that's not something you see just laying laying around on the your backyard now if you come up his neck and you just keep going and going and going and going let's just come out of here because that's another time it's going to take for a long time now you see this fluty stuff running all, all across his back and up his side of his neck you see that on all the dragons they said they wear them all the time now this is his head up here. All right. They have a kind of funny looking face, a big bump on their nose. And you see that? I'm telling you, this is exactly what you see in a dragon. So, this is all I can tell you is what I see you see. Now, it comes out of his mouth, and he's spitting some nasty stuff out, and he spit it out for a reason. And look at what it does down here. This is what came out of his mouth. All right. You ever see anything like that? That is nasty. Now, and it had, and it, it is apparently exploded when it hit something here. You see it lit up here, and I mean lit up. You see this? You see those filaments and things shooting out of there? I don't know what it was, but it was some really terrible, terrible, terrible stuff. And it kept going and kept going until it hit this right here which just happens to be the fin of a giant fish which is here and there's his scales and that's the fish and he's his tail over here you see it you see his tail and there's a fish and there's his fin up at the top and the, the dragon was biting his fin and killing him and it actually did must have hurt because you see this here that rotted his flesh away you know that's rotted destroyed flesh all the way down to here and even beyond it's you know it's like he's poisoning him or something or burning him or whatever it is now so anyway that's the fish so uh, and, and so now I decided well what happened when was the flood well the flood was obviously after these things were here because look at the it went around it and going down so this died and this died prior to this event or at the same time, I don't know, but that might be able to be established if it was looked at really carefully. And actually, it could be established right here because if this is his tail, and this is over the top of his tail, it means that thing was dead before that came over. So I'm going with dead before the flood. 
You know, some of the stuff I'm just winging. I'm not. I'm no hero with this stuff. I'm just seeing what you're seeing, and I'm just drawing conclusions. You can draw your own conclusions. So that's all I can say. Now, the that's and it all ran off here. And then Manley Hall said these people who were the Atlanteans, the long-headed Atlanteans, showed up in uh, Ethiopia in the highlands, uh, eleven thousand, you know, whatever it was, eleven thousand four hundred years ago, something like that. And then after they they spent some time there. They dominating eventually the, uh, the you know childlike round-headed people that were there. Then they moved up the coast up into um, um, Egypt as the gods of Egypt, and they took over them, dominated those round-headed people for a while, and and dominated them, pushed them around, do this, do that, and then finally fed, fed up with them. And then they ended up going, I think, offshore to mess with uh, to uh, Malta or one of those places out there, Crete. Anyway, that that's that's my take, and that and that was like 3,500 years ago, somewhere around there. And there's a lot of other history here that I have uncovered as well that are written histories that are, you know you have to start taking this into account. If you see this, and then you say, "Oh, that other stuff is just all baloney," no, you better start thinking again because they, they, they act. <laughs> Who's th who ever thought this? Who would ever think this? Nobody. And nobody still thinks it because you see it and you still can't think it. Your mind cannot even get there. That's the key. And that's why people won't get this out into the rest of the world because they're afraid to even say this to somebody. Or oh, there's a dragon in the desert. You guys are getting nuts. And then they really get nasty, trust me. So, uh, you know, people, they take this as an assault. And I had a guy the other day, he really literally got very, very rude and crude and as bad as you could get and I, I i confronted him i said you're being rude and crude and you're irrelevant and, and so forth and he said do you understand what you just said before that is the most vile uh, that is is, is uh, i forget how he, he worded it but he said it was uh it was like aggressive mean nasty and all i am saying is what, what is this i didn't say it's you know I, you know you have to go out and eat the dead dragon in the desert or something i'm just saying here it is if it's not there, it's not there. You make your own decide, but don't beat me up because I'm saying it's there. If you don't see it, fine. But if you don't see it, I don't know what's wrong with your mind. So that's the case, and uh, I'm going to go now into the KT boundary. I think probably in another video.